Let me talk a little bit about the grade book because I, I have a video up, up on Academy Central that talks about how to set up your course. Okay, so I'm not going to go over that right now. Uh, but I don't have a video up right now in terms of the grade book. So let me, we've got 15 minutes left, so let me, let me talk about the grade book. Um, <clears throat> when you create an assignment, keep in mind it automatically creates it in your grade book. So you don't have to create an assignment in Academy Central and then create it in the grade book. So you don't have that redundancy. Um, let me first talk about weighting categories and then creating assignments. But it's, it's all typically under the assignments tab right here. Um, if I click the Assignments tab, you'll notice at the top here, it says weight the final grade based on assignment groups. So if this is unchecked, that means I'm just doing total points. Okay, and I don't have to worry about categories. Was it categories in WaWeb? Yeah, so it's called Assignment Groups in Academy Central. If I click weight the final grade, you'll notice on the right hand side I now start to get categories or assignment groups. Right now I only have one. If I want to add another category, I click add assignment group and now I can do tests. And you do the percentage and click update. Okay. Um, that's how you do the groups and the weighting. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. You can drag and drop assignments between those categories. Yeah, if I just do tests and I say this is worth 50, update, you'll notice I'm at 150% here, so you will just need to adjust it to 59% because that makes sense. 50%. So I can just pull, drag them here. There is not, I cannot do a multiple select here. So it, it is a one at a time process. But this is, again, where I'd make sure you just set up one class how you want it and then copy. Do you want. This, yeah. I can add a grading rule. Hmm. Okay. I would do it in here. That's that's the only way I know how to do it. Yeah. So you just have to go through each assignment and edit Right. Yeah. So if I if I go right here, yeah. actually I can just go here points and then here's a little drop down where I can drop it okay. to a different. Uh, oh no, that's not the. That's not what I thought it was. So I would just adjust the points and then drop it up there. What's more options? I They add stuff all the time. I'm just like, wait, what is that? Okay, this is just where you can edit it. Right. No, you don't have to worry about that for your final exam, no. Because so at the end of 80, like it was 100, basically. Did I say that right? Wait, wait, say that again. I'm not good at math, so bear with me. Yeah, I just we just did it where it added up to 100. And then when you put it into WaWeb, it's worth 80% of their whole grade. And then, right. yeah. Okay, let me uh, delete this. Yes. Okay. Let me go into the grade book itself. Oh, wait, before I do that. In, in terms of creating assignments, you can do it two ways if you want. You can create the assignments here in this page. I prefer to do it in the module section just because if I click add item to module, it'll put the assignment in the appropriate module that I want. So I can go here, click add item to module. I select assignment up here. And then I can either select assignments. I can actually do multiple select here. So if I want to drop a bunch of assignments into a module, I can do that. Or I can come down here to new assignment. Yeah, that, that's how we're, yeah, and it's, I use, I do it as units, but I, I've seen some class, classes do it like week, like week one, this is what we're doing, week two is what we're doing, or, or they'll do it thematically, or whatever. So, um, I'll just say final project two, projects, points, when it's due. 
and I add the assignment, it adds it to my little list here of assignments. Then when I click add item, it pops it into that module. So now it's created it in the module and it's created it in, uh, in your grade book. If you want to add more detail to the assignment, you click on the assignment itself and do the standard uh, thing where you can click edit assignment and do whatever you want to do. I would encourage you to use these assignments where you link to the resources that they want so life becomes easier for you. Like if there's a handout that goes with the assignment, embed the, the handout in, in this section. Um, you'll notice on the right hand side here, everything you've uploaded to Academy Central is available. So let's say I want a handout to go into this assignment. I can just drill down to the, to the file. I click on it. It's now in this, uh, in this assignment. So, so that's what I'll do. I'll have like the assignment and then any handouts or things that they need. So when a student comes to me and says, hey, I missed the assignment. What do I need? I just say go there and print everything out that you need. Let's, yes. That's what that video is about. Yeah, so you can go look, watch the video. If I have time, I'll tell but I want to... It's under Teacher Center. You should have a group called Teacher Center. You might not be enrolled in there. I'll enroll you. Can you come see me right after this? Because otherwise I'll forget about you. And you'll feel rejected and it'll be tense between us. And I don't know what to do. Yeah. If when I click grades, this takes me into my grade book. So this is what the grade book looks like. And again, if you've graded something in speed grader, it will automatically pop in here. Okay, so that's another thing to consider. Okay, so I don't grade something on speed grader and then go in and then put it in here. It's it's all all together. So um, <clears throat> you know, this is really a very simple grade book. You can manually enter grades. You simply simply click on the cell and then you can type in the grade. One thing to keep in mind, you will notice, see these little arrows here? Okay, so you know how on your touchpad you can scroll real fast? Okay, watch, look, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, it's exciting, okay? Notice if I have my arrow over here, Whoop, oh, oh, I'm at 56 out of 40. Well, I'm at 7, I'm at, I'm scrolling, and it's scrolling the number up. Okay, so just be careful. I had, like, some kid had, like, 120 out of 10. I was like, what happened? So just some quirky thing. So I hit escape and go back. The little down arrow here gives you a few options. Message students who is a nice option. So who haven't submitted an assignment yet. Okay, I can say, hey, submit this. Keep in mind now, parents will see this now. So, uh, you, you know, that's nice, I think. Okay, so be, 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 good, be nice, but um, students who haven't been graded yet, students who have scored less than, scored more than. So that, that is, I've used that yes. option. Oh, yeah, I was like, dude, do this. Get it programmed in. No. <laughs> they, they should have more options, but, but that's, that's one thing. Yes? Yeah, you don't have to add an assignment to the module. Yeah, like what you would do is under the assignments tab, you would just create the assignment there and then just never add it to the module. Any assignment, any assignment, any graded assignment you create will go into the grade book. Right. Yeah. Like so, like pages I create and things like that, they don't show up in the grade book. It's just assignments. Um, you can set default grades for. So this is your fill. So if you want to give everybody a five out of five, you just click set default grade at five. You can curve grades, download submissions, blah blah. Speed grader, assignment details, just gives you details of the assignment. Mute assignment, some teachers like to do this. 
where you mute it, and basically when a when a student gets on Academy Central and they go to their grades, it will say that this project is or this assignment is being graded by your teacher, and then when you unmute it, it reveals the details of what you've graded. They can't see it as it's going. Right, exactly. They can't see it as it's going. But they still see it there. Correct. Yep. Why would you do that just to show you're done Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why, but some teachers get excited about it. Why? Why? Yeah. Right, right, right. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Sure. Right, and they are comparing right off the bat. Okay. The assignment, if you put, if you attach a rubric to an assignment, they'll see the rubric. But can they, can they change No. Yeah, they don't, yeah, I don't think so. Um, it's a good idea, though. So that's it for this little drop-down box. In the upper left-hand corner here, there's a little drop-down. Um, again, attendance, we're not doing, doing this. Treat ungraded as zeros. Do, don't select that, okay? Because it means if there, it means if there's a dash here, it means that it would all assign it a zero, which you don't typically want, okay? Because if a student hasn't turned something in yet and it's okay that's not turned in, you don't want to nail them with that. So that does mean they do not have an M feature. I talked to them about that, but we just. We don't have a, a, a missing feature. So what you would do is you would put a zero in, and then um, you can add a comment, and you can just say missing. Okay. Or you can give more feedback, which actually might be, not be nice. You might want to develop like a stock list of like little, little comments, because again, parents are going to be looking at this and if you just have M for missing, like they're going to be like, well, why is it missing or whatever? You could customize it a little bit for, for them. So, um, so this is a missing assignment that needs to be turned in so, or turned, whatever. I can copy that. So I post the comment here for this student. And then I can and, – and, and keep in mind, when I post this, it shows up on their activity feed when they first log in. So it's in their face when they first log in, just so you know. Um, so then I can come down to this student. Uh, they got a zero. I'm just going to paste that comment in there as well. And then you move on to the next student. Questions on the grade book? Again, if I click on this assignment, it takes me, yeah, this takes me to the, the assignment itself. If I click speed grader, this is where you can do some grading on there, if you would like, or on your iPad. And again, don't forget about this. Like, this was an article that they were supposed to read, and I upload the article to the assignment. So some of my students, they printed it out. Some of them read it right here on Academy Central. They just... They uh, they actually blew it up to I know. They did. They went to full screen, and then they zoomed in a little bit and they read it. So again, it's kind of nice. It uh, it it helps alleviate work for you in the long run. Questions on the grade book? Pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, we have a couple minutes left, so real quick I'll answer Browning's question. Um.